Good morning. Uh, yeah, sorry about yesterday's video. It was uh, what was that number? Episode eighty-five. Um, yeah, it was a bit sort of just. I I didn't want to do any talking. I just wanted to train, document my training, get it up and get it done. Uh, so I didn't have much to talk about. Um, but today's different. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit chatty. <laughs> uh, right. So what I want to just talk about really is a couple of things. Firstly, uh, I saw a great video from uh, Natural Hypertrophy. He uh, he done a part five to his character study of uh, Mr. Blah Blah. <laughs> and that was always, that's always good, isn't it? You know, uh, just, uh, yeah, very good, very informative. Yeah, it was, it was enjoyable. So if you haven't seen that, go and check that out. That's pretty good. Um, also, not sure if, um, Mr. Blah Blah, I'm not sure if his, uh, if his uh, Facebook page is still up or not. I, I know he got absolutely humiliated again. It seems like every time he sort of sticks his head above the parapet, you know, it just, it just gets taken out. You know, every time he tries to venture into the real, real world from within his cuck shack, um, yeah, he just gets hammered. You know, so this is what he's done to himself. Can't blame the trolls, can't blame anyone. The only, play, uh, the only place he can look for blame is in the mirror. He did it to himself. You can't go around hate speech, you know, talking about genocide of people, you know, threatening people with weapons and violence and all the rest of it, and expect people to uh, let you get away with it. It doesn't work like that, you know? You can't act like a complete arsehole and not get any uh, payback. This is his payback, you know? So the ridiculousness of the uh, massager I mean, he got absolutely hammered, didn't he? Uh, and again, he tries to stick his head up again, gets hammered again. You know, so that's fantastic. He's done it to himself. He has his own, only, only has himself to blame. So, uh, yeah, you reap what you sow, buddy. And you've, uh, you're reaping it and you've sowed it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's great. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the stupid podcast, that was ridiculous. If you haven't heard it, check out my last video i linked it down in i pinned it in the comments down below in my last video before the last one so what was that 83 I think. oh i don't know two videos back and um yeah it's absolutely ridiculous hearing him sort of you know trying to pretend to be normal tr pretend to be a human being uh pretend to have personality i mean it's all just a fake sort of front isn't it uh, and you can hear that when you uh, when you listen to it. You know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Zero qualifications in anything. I used to be working in natural gas and hydrogen, surrounded by hunky, beefy men. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, hearing him trying to relate to someone in any sort of real way just sounds very bizarre. And then uh, the poor fella that did the uh, the podcast so desperate for content get anyone on there even him and uh you know he paid the ultimate price i mean it happened so quickly um but it seems to have resulted in uh, yeah blah blah's facebook page being shut down permanently i can't seem to see it i mean if you can let me know if it's still up and running maybe i've been banned or something blocked completely uh i don't know how he would block me completely but uh because he doesn't know my name on Facebook, so um, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let me know down below if uh, if he has if it's still up or if it's been taken down permanently. But uh, maybe it's just humiliation and complete embarrassment. But then you'd have to have a a, a some sort of self worth to be embarrassed and all that, wouldn't you? But anyway, uh, going to do some training. Uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning at the minute. What time is it? Yeah, it's 22 minutes past eight in the morning. Um, yeah, just going to hammer out some training, 30 minutes on the bike, in the sweatsuit. Uh, and then arms going to, you know, pump up the old guns today. Pump the guns up, front row tickets to the gun show. Yeah, going to get the guns pumped up. And that is it. I have got a big Amazon delivery coming today. Uh, last, well, a couple of, couple of uh, videos back, I had, um, had the tent up. I uh, put the tent in the garden. And I said I might sleep in it, but second thoughts, I, had, I, I didn't have the equipment really to sleep in it. I got a, a double sleeping bag 
Uh, I have got a single, but that's stored somewhere else, miles away. I can't even get to it at the minute. Uh, and I don't think it's that good anyway. So I needed some equipment. I wanted an air mattress, a little sort of inflatable air mattress. Um, needed a new sleeping bag, so I got a maggot bag. And what else did I order on Amazon? Something else. Um, I can't even remember. So many little bits I've ordered. So that's all coming today, or most of it's coming today. Uh, so I will be equipped to go into the garden to do a little camp. Um, and that is maybe the plan for tonight. I might actually keep in the garden once my stuff arrives. So the camp bed and, and you know, the inflatable little sort of sleep pad and all that sort of stuff. Um, because ultimately what I want to do is, you know, I like sort of, you know, eating out the back of the car. I want to get a camper van and all that stuff. I find myself, I don't know, maybe it's because we're under lockdown again. We've had a completely fucked up year uh, because of the Chinese virus. And um, yeah, it's all coming to the end once the election's confirmed um, in America. It will come to the end then because it seems to be, that's why it happened. You know, I don't know, call me a conspiracy theorist. But um, that aside, I don't want to get into all that politics stuff, but... That aside, I mean, I think because I'm feeling quite cooped up, you know, I haven't been on holiday for, a, for almost a year, you know, haven't really done anything. I, I haven't done judo for over a year now because of this bullshit. Uh, and I got injured at the end of last year. So all this crap has just stopped normal life. And um, I think I find myself watching a lot more bushcraft, camping, stealth camping, van life you know i'm watching all of these things now watching all those things and i like the idea of i like camping i've camped in the past i quite enjoy it yeah but going to a campsite setting up yeah it's it's okay it's it's fun you know um one of the best camps i ever did was in wales for five days or something you know it was great um, but I don't like the idea of sterile camping, going off somewhere to a campsite, you know, setting up all that stuff. I like the idea of stealth camping. There's a guy called Steve Wallace, American guy. And I mean, to someone who's just started watching his channel, I've watched quite a lot of his channel now. Um, Someone who's just started watching his channel, it just looks like he's he's a homeless person. <laughs> One of the funniest ones he's done was sleeping uh, under a bridge. <laughs> and there was another one, he slept behind a sign, yeah? And, um, and he said he was stealth camping. And it was just like someone was videoing someone, a vagrant, a homeless person. Because he was just, you know camped out not even camped out just stuck behind a sign sitting there you know this big sign on the side of the, the freeway or the highway or whatever and um yeah he's just sitting there and he's cooking up you know he's looking around paranoid scared that he's going to get busted by the police or someone and it was just it's so ridiculous um so if you haven't seen his videos i mean it, he just looks like a, a sort of crazy homeless person filming himself but you know, there's method to his madness and he's achieved a lot of his channel. But, um, and it, it's quite enjoyable. He's got a certain way about him, you know. Very soothing voice as well. Very soothing voice, sort of radio voice. Yes, very soothing. Um, or commercials, could do voiceovers. He really could. Um, but anyway, watching his channel is funny as hell, you know. It seems like all the, all the best channels have the person's name being Steve, you know, so he's got Steve MRE, MREs, you know, one eight, uh, sorry, 1989, I think it is, MREs, he's really good to watch the MREs and all that stuff, the meal ready to eat, uh, and then you've got Steve Wallace who camps out under bridges and, and in abandoned, I don't know what, you know, some scout hut he was in the other day, so very funny stuff, yeah, anyway, back to my point, <sighs> I quite like stealth camping. Yeah, I quite like the stealth camping. Uh, so, you know, without, 
I don't know. I I really like the idea, but I, I can't risk getting arrested because it'll screw up my, <laughs> my job and my licensing and all that stuff. Um, but uh, I like the idea of sleeping on rooftops, you know, so sort of getting up to the flat area on a roof, you know, like a high rise or something and um, and camping out, sort of doing a little stealth camp on a rooftop. That's what I really like the idea of. Uh, so going to have to look into that because I can't risk my uh, my uh, my licensing and all that sort of stuff. So um, but I certainly do like the idea of, you know, urban stealth camping as well urban stealth camping so i mean wherever you look especially in where i live i'm in sort of of london surrounded by greenery and if i can't find a little sort of patch of bushes and trees that i can put my little tent in when no one's around and then set up and cook a little meal and sleep overnight and all that sort of stuff and then wake up in the morning have some coffee and a bit of breakfast and and move on you know, in, in sort of late out early, that sort of thing. If I can't find that or where I live, it's going to be crazy. You know, uh, I can find it. Yeah, I can find it. So that is something, I mean, you could probably, you know, I like, cause it's all sort of coming together. I like, um, when I'm working, you know, cooking stuff out in the back of the car and all that sort of stuff. So if I just chuck everything in a backpack with a little, a little, it's not like a camp, a camper van, but, you know, it's it's on the way. <laughs> so if I can just find, you know, I like the idea of stealth camping, even with the uh, stealth stealth camper vanning. You know, the guys they sort of park up. He actually did it, Steve Wallace. He actually did it uh, next to a police car, a police station in his car. So he blacked out all the windows and camped stealth camped in the back of his car outside a police station. So I like all that sort of stuff, the stealthy stuff, sort of sneaking around because you probably get a better adrenaline rush, which is what we're all after, right? We're all after an adrenaline rush, something to make us feel alive in these dead times. And that's pretty much, I think, what I'm after. I'm trying to find that rush again, you know? So that's what I'm thinking, some winter stealth camping. So when I get my kit, I'm going to review it probably in this video. I'll probably review it all in this video. Um, if not, it'll be in the next video coming. And then uh, and then I'll do a camp out in the garden video as well. Because I want to just test run the kit, you know. I want to make sure I'm going to be warm enough, dry enough, you know. What am I going to have to eat? Uh, all that sort of stuff. Just get everything I need really boiled down to what I need, the bare basics. Uh, and then just potter off to a, a bunch of trees or a couple of bushes or something uh, and um, and do a, an overnight stealth camp somewhere so that is kind of what's exciting me at the minute so anyway rambling on I told you I was going to talk a lot uh, rambling on I need to start training yeah because I've got things to do today so uh, I've got lots to do today but I've got to wait for this bloody Amazon video um, Amazon delivery as well so um, yeah gonna get the bike working 30 minutes on the bike gonna do some arms like I've already said uh, get the sweatsuit on and start training and then have a nice smoothie so uh, start the music ah, I got that pump in there got the old ticker pumping and uh, yeah like I say you've seen 80 five of these videos you know how important I think cardio is it's probably one of the most important things uh, to concentrate on uh, especially as we get older in your younger years you don't need to worry too much because your metabolism spinning higher uh, but as you get older and that slows down you need to keep on top of your cardio that's why so many people when they get old they get fat you know metabolism slows down you get less uh, less mobile you're doing less you get more sedentary uh, so it's easy to get fat you know anyway so uh got the sweatsuit on sweating away let's see what we've done uh, i don't know what that clicking is i've got to look at that it's a pedal right so uh almost right so 31 minutes <sighs> speed god that clicking's annoying distance uh, 11 kilometers and calories burned yeah 168 all right let's uh, well, uh pop like up the, the gas videos i'm gonna uh 
just film one set of each um, set down yeah, one set of each set so we're going to do the arms today so I'm just going to do some uh, dumbbell curls and then uh, with the easy bar just uh, you know slow concentration curls with those and then um, then some uh, behind the head um, tricep extensions and then uh, some skull crushers so just one set of each but I'm gonna do five sets of ten all right so I'm not gonna bore you do you know showing you all the uh, every set so I'll just show you one set of each um, yeah and that's it good let's get cracking All right, so uh, just finished my workout. Yep, pretty good. Nice little uh, little pump up in the arms and everything. Feel good. All right, so um, probably going to put all the uh, camping stuff because it hasn't been delivered yet, and I'm just going to crack on with this uh, video and just edit it up and get it uploaded. So this will be episode 86, I think. So we're going to take it up to 100, then I'm going to stop this. So uh, episode 86, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave this video and I'll, I'll do a, a, a different video uh, for all the camping bits and the stealth camping stuff that I've just bought on Amazon should be delivered later. All right, so like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a family and I'm out of here. Oh.